uh, first let me start off by saying um, rest in peace to the rapper PMB Rock who lost his life at Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles in LA me being an LA native um, I'm very familiar with Roscoe's we have a lot of locations out there some Roscoe's locations you don't get a whole lot of traffic of uh, young men who could be gang members or opportunists looking for somebody to get caught lacking. But anywhere in LA, Inglewood, anywhere in the, the well-known city, cities that will be considered the hood in LA, you know, it's not wise to go to a place like that if you're a well-known rapper and you're someone who has this arrogance about yourself where you feel like you should wear your jewelry, you should be able to wear your jewelry and, you know, your multi-million dollar mansions on your neck and not worry about anybody trying to press you. But unfortunately, anybody that was born and raised in California, Southern California especially, they know that that's something we don't do out there in LA. The many, many years I've lived in L.A. Or just lived in Southern California in general, whether I was in the city or the valley. We know it's a cold. It's two codes. Respect, first of all. You got to always show respect, no matter where you're at, what territory, no matter what race you are. It's all about respect. Two, you don't floss in L.A. I mean, somebody got to tell these out-of-towners that you don't come to L.A. doing the same thing you do where you're from. I don't know how it is where uh, these other rappers are from, but when you come to Los Angeles, California, I don't care if you're in Hollywood, Beverly Hills, or if you're in Compton or Long Beach, wherever you are, you need to just be a neutral, basic person. You need to watch what colors you wear, and you got to be careful what jewelry you wear, too. Because if it's attracting someone who is looking for an opportunity to hit a lick and cash out, you're an easy target. Nobody hardly ever wears, look at all the West Coast rappers. It wasn't until they got older, like, okay, guys like Snoop. Snoop, you know, and uh, Cube maybe. But Cube still don't really wear a lot of ice. You ever notice that? He don't wear a whole lot of jewelry like that. Snoop, he wears his jewelry here and there, but he still, he don't wear a whole bunch of chains all at the same time like that. He have maybe one chain on, a ring on, a watch. I can't even remember if his ears are piercing now. Yeah, maybe earrings, but ain't nobody flossing in LA it's, it's, that's not that type of environment, it's not that type of place for you to just get that comfortable and do that so PNB Rock shows up to Roscoe's, a lot of people saying that his lady dropped the location unfortunately these youngsters, whether it's male or female they dropped their location regardless anyway, so I can't even ultimately just put it all on her, on her. he should have already been on top of her and told her like look don't be dropping our location up here you know we in the city you know we got jack boys out here it's already i already got ops out here it's already a nigga that's been trying to make threats to me don't post that we at roscoe's but the young lady posted that they're at roscoe's and pmb rock he kind of put that on himself too though because whoever this young dude that he was on a live with i don't know how long ago it was but prior to the days that he got killed but for him to you know, go back and forth with this dude and tell him, man, you, 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 you want to be PNB Rock, you want to be me so bad and the dude is talking about where your location at, blah, 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 you should have already cut the live off. Don't engage, stop trying to act. The problem is with a lot of black men, they get around these women and they start thinking they're a hell of a nigga. Especially when they got money in their pocket. So when they got money and they got a chick that they love or admire, or have a sexual relationship with that they view as their day one, their queen, 
they start acting out of their character. So, these well-known rappers, they either act like they're a hell of a nigga when they're around they, a chick, or they act like a hell of a nigga when they're around or they crew. But when you're by yourself, you're a totally different person. I don't understand why it's so hard or why it's such an issue with just being humble, respectful, and being someone who's a living example of how to carry yourself. Why y'all always gotta try to do this little extra stuff and show your, 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 your watch, your jewelry, you wanna throw you, like what, that is the most immature, childlike behavior. And speaking of childlike, for the majority, not all my people, but uh, most black people, especially these days, are very childlike and have been childlike for a lot of years, for a long time. And this is why black people always get caught up in certain things because black people don't know when to stop playing. Black people don't know when to take life a little more serious. Black people don't know when there's real danger, when there's a real threat. Why? Because they're always distracted with someone or something. And these social media sites, whether it's IG, FB, YT, or Twitter, whatever it is, it's like they live through that. You might as well, I mean, it really is a metaverse because our people don't, it's like, in this virtual reality that they've been living in, they feel like they can be anybody they want to be. They could be the toughest, most trillless nigga out there. Females too, the black women too, don't know how to act. Act like they just the, the baddest bitch ever. Put a pound of makeup on. Making themselves look like a, a dark European, pretty much. A dark white girl. While these black men are looking like goofies, trying to be someone they really are not. PNB Rock could have avoided that situation by one, familiarizing himself with the areas he was in when he was out there. He could have made sure that that Roscoe's that he chose wasn't a hot spot for gang members to pop up because everybody eat at Roscoe's. Families, lawyers, businessmen, gang members, hustlers, day-to-day -day workers, everybody goes through there. So for you to think that uh, an op or a gang member or someone that would have a, a problem with you wouldn't be there, that's that's something's wrong there. You you you're you're lacking. You're 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 not that bright to think that you could just show up with all your ice on, with all the money on you, and nobody ain't gonna approach you. Maybe the ego, maybe the money and the jewelry and all the material possessions that these young men obtain early and young, when you become a young millionaire, a lot of these youngsters they, this, their ego tells them that they are that nigga. They are a hell of a nigga and can't nobody do nothing to them. They can't be touched. Everybody can get touched. And PNB Rock is another victim of negligence, ignorance. And I don't know Stupidity in a lot of ways Because That should not have happened He could have avoided that For sure he could have avoided it But what's the key in this situation Was this really A gang Situation where some hustles That, that, that took him out because they saw he was lacking and they maybe in the location was dropped or was this a sacrifice an industry situation because what happens every time 
there's some industry situation going on and a celebrity dies and there's some kind of ritual behind it. TMZ gets involved. Almost every news reporter that reported on this, they always acknowledge TMZ first as if TMZ is the top news network. TMZ is a gossip network, really. They don't cover national news like that. They're not CNN. <coughs> Excuse me. They're not KCAL 9. They're not KTLA. And all the other uh, networks that's in LA that should have been reporting on this first and foremost. Why are they acknowledging TMZ when they report the death of PNB Rock? Why is it when a celebrity is killed, they always have to say, TMZ confirmed that this is so and so, and so and so is confirmed dead at this such and such time? That's, sus that's suspicious. It's a dead giveaway to me that, huh? The industry lined them up. Maybe it was this time. Everybody is marked. Everybody got their uh, the time when they're going to leave, especially when they sell their soul. We saw the hand signals he's been throwing up. All these niggas that do all this and everything, and they're not from Houston. <laughs> Just know they are part of uh, some type of uh, organization or industry or some cult that is encouraging them to throw up hand signs and acknowledge the powers that be that are funding and promoting them. TMZ. Watch, you guys. Watch. Pay attention. TMZ is always involved in a high-profile death. They're always the first one to know about a high-profile death. If that's not suspicious, something wrong with you. Big-time news networks should not have to acknowledge TMZ before they report the, on the death of someone who is a, considered a celebrity or an entertainer. Well-known entertainer. But I saw about three or four different reports where they said, yes, uh, TMZ was the first one to confirm that so-and-so died, that PNB Rock. What? Come on, man. Y'all better stop falling for these plays they're running on y'all, man. PNB Rock could have avoided that. But I think either way, he was being followed by people from the street or people tied to the industry. And we know there's certain people getting hired to take out big time rappers. And they can make it seem like it's some street shit. But really, it's just a play they're running on y'all to justify why he got killed. So nobody can look towards any of these higher profile organizations. They gonna look towards the streets because they know the streets talk. And unfortunately, the streets only look at the surface. They only look towards the street, but they don't look towards anywhere else. They don't question other things. But you need to start questioning why TMZ is always highly involved in a major death of a, a celebrity who's well known, a rapper who's well known, especially rappers, because rappers are getting killed left and right. Was PMB Rock sacrificed? And is this why TMZ jumped on it right away? Or was it just really some street stuff and PMB Rock? got called lacking and he he put that on himself but ask yourself why is TMZ always involved and why is TMZ always the first to report on something that the local news should have already reported on or should have gotten an information on already y'all take it easy rest in, be, rest in peace to PNB Rock but y'all need to all you other cats out there who's up and coming rappers and stuff like that, y'all better start learning the lessons and learning from the mistakes of these other 
artists who keep getting killed the same way. Be smart. Stop trying to do stuff for attention and status and clout. If you want to survive and live a prosperous life, be more low-key.